here we're doing our weekly trip around the paddock so I've cut the tops out of those bales already and Graham is literally turning them over we used to do it with two people where well three people sorry where one person will be standing on the ground cutting the bum one person will be driving the tractor and a third person will be cutting the car with the motorbike so there's my motorbike there but um got yarn to a few people and that's what they do they cut the top out with one person and that same one person can cut the kale and then yeah so Graham's just sitting those out so we come in here once a week and we place them out and the gap between the bales I'm on now and there is where I cut the kale so if I just pan around here slowly I've already cut some of these tracks so between here and those bales, well you can see there's a fence just right, it's a fence there and then down here and that's one day's worth of kale plus three bales of baleage. So this is how we winter the cows and here's, uh, that's one mob and it's about three in the afternoon so they were pretty happy and then here's the other mob so there's their back fence back there and their water trough probably get back fenced up tomorrow it's been a dry couple of days so yeah they would have got back fenced before the wet and then here's these girls so there's 100 cow mobs and they've got three bales of baleage and they're just hoving into it and as you can see still baleage in that third third that's pretty much a full bale over there and yeah so there's their front fence and the front we have a front fence and then a backup front fence and a back fence and they are all the same with all hot standards um so that they can alternate between what way if you need to back fence them right up tight we use mostly the clips to do the power and yeah another lovely Southland day so it's roughly half an hour per mob once a week to put the bums out the bales out and cut the tracks and yeah so there's 15 mobs and as you can see they're quite well fed roughly we're offering them 16 kilos and literally all I'm gonna do here is so I'm actually up on top of the bale Cutting this around, obviously just using a two dollar seventy craft knife. Rolling this up, and then moving on to the next one. So then, when Graham comes along, he just has to pick up the bell and turn it over. And this is very fast, isn't it, girls? Yes, very fast. Right up. Better get back to it.